We have more details tonight in a live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather alert. The dangerously low temperatures don't only affect us, but our homes as well. Meteorologist Pete Mangione has some important tips on how you can prevent a pricey disaster. As temperatures plunge overnight, bursting pipes are always a concern. Wind and cold. It can be a bad combination for plumbing. When the temperatures go down below freezing, but mainly when they're starting to get into the zero, and then you've got a penetrating wind, which you're going to have tonight. Larry Gemma, president of Gem Heating and Plumbing Services, says you are especially at risk if you live in an older home with poor insulation. The first line of defense is common sense. Turn up the heat and keep it nice and warm. Then now's not the time to turn it down and try and save a few dollars. Gemma also recommends making it easy for the heat to get to the pipes. So open up those kitchen cabinets underneath the sink. And since moving water doesn't freeze as easily... Turn the faucets on, let them drip a little bit, you know, keep a little stream, maybe the size of the head of a pencil, coming out of your faucets if they've frozen before. It also doesn't hurt to carefully check the pipes near the boiler to make sure they are actually warm. As for outside the house... Make sure the hose is disconnected and then empty out any excess water. But it's not enough just to turn off the outdoor valve. Make sure you turn off the outdoor pipes from the inside of your house. Many of you will probably have to do this from your basement. If this sounds like too much work... It only takes a few seconds to freeze pipes on the outside walls. You're also going to want to know where that main water shutoff is. Should those pipes burst, you want to go ahead and turn that off. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.